It's hundreds of comments already after this mother posted her story. She doesn't want us to share her daughter's identity, but she says she was running errands, took her kids to play at Town Square, but she forgot about the splash pad, and as soon as it went off, she knew the kids would want in. So she read the rules posted, didn't see anything about not being able to wear regular clothes in the water, and let her kids have at it. However, when her three-year-old daughter came up to her saying she was cold, asking if she could take her soaked t-shirt off, mom never thought it would end like it did. So my kids are playing and then a few minutes later my daughter comes up to me and she's like, Mommy, I'm cold. Um, can I take my shirt off? Like, okay, take off your shirt. Gwen thought nothing of it until an employee came up saying little girls must wear tops. I said, well, what about my son? She said, no, well, little boys are fine to run around without their tops. And I looked at her and I was like, she's three and she's cold. Gwen put the shirt back on and went to management about the rule. It just irks me that little girls are sexualized that way. Like that's what I immediately thought is like, what is it about my three year old that makes it okay for somebody to say that she has to have a shirt on when there's a three year old boy playing next to her that they don't even think twice about. The sign outside the splash pad just says swim diapers are required, but management sent her a revised list that adds proper swim attire. Afterwards, I'm like, why did I just put my daughter into a cold, wet shirt, but my son is playing without his shirt on just the same as she was? It's ridiculous. Town Square refused to let us film their splash pad for this story, but parents at other parks were quick to weigh in on both sides. They're three years old. You know, I have to admit, I let my daughter go without clothes when she was three, uh, top-wise, you know, when they're at the water park. Maybe I'm old school, but I believe that a little girl should always have a shirt on, especially nowadays. We have too many, too many problems with, you know, people who have looked at little children. However, Gwen says it should be the parent that makes that decision. You should not feel shame for um, for allowing your child to be a child in the way that you see fit as a parent. Now going through all of these comments, I also saw one woman who said she was approached on the same day by the same employee. Her son has long hair and the employee thought he was a girl. When the mother said he was a boy, she says her son was allowed to continue playing without a top. So a lot of debate about what the right move is in this situation. We've put a poll on our Facebook page if you'd like to weigh in. We also attempted to contact Town Square about the policy multiple times and never heard back. Faith?